Good morning, my amazing YouTube family. You guys are the best. Thank you for waking up with me this morning. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I feel so good. Um, so this morning, we are not reviewing any restaurants. We are cooking some creamy, lovely, smooth tasting grits. Okay, but I'm going to show you guys my secret ingredient and how I put them things together to make them taste how they do. Did y'all ain't making them right? Y'all got them all lumpy, bumpy. They don't taste good. They don't have a good flavor. And you throw some shrimp, ham, something in there, and you think you got some grits. You just got some nasty things with some, some shrimp in there. That's all you got. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, and uh, we'll get this thing going. Okay, we're back. So this is the actual like skillet or pot that it came with. Um, and this works. So I didn't know there was um, special induction um, pots or pans that you had to use. So I'm gonna have to check that out. I actually just seen some people using it on YouTube and I was like okay that, that works for me and it came with the lid okay so to start out um, we're, gonna ha we're gonna go ahead and do four cups um, of water Okay, so these are um, two cups each. So that's four cups right there. And then let's go ahead and get this thing going. Get it heated up because we want to get it to boil. Um, let's see. Now let's start off at 2,000. I'm not sure what that no, that is. Um, let's see if we can change. Okay, so we can change it to Fahrenheit, which is what I understand. We're going to bring it down to about 350. Okay, and now at that time, y'all know we, we're, we don't use um, measuring utensils, like as far as like seasoning, it's always to taste. But I am going to start off with um, one teaspoon of salt. You want to go ahead and put that in the water right now. And we're going to use the cream cheese. I, I got the box as well. Um, doesn't matter what type of cream cheese it is. Um, I don't do like mad fat. I want all my taste there. Um, now for this one, um, again, I don't, I, I don't usually use measurements. So out of this, this whole thing of cheese cream cheese we're probably gonna go ahead and use about half of it and I want you to go ahead and put that in there right now okay because we want the cream cheese to break down and this water is starting to boil like right now we want the cream cheese to break down while the water is boiling okay one thing about cream cheese I learned is you can't throw it in there last because it's not like butter and cheese where it's just going to melt instantly. Mm -mm. You know, um, so we needed the water to break it down. So we're going to let that boil and then we're going to get it to um, a consistency where we can take the whisk and just whisk right through it and it just breaks up and it looks like milk. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to let this boil for... A bit um, I'm not sure of this um, this cooking unit is starting to boil real fast I'm not sure if I have it too hot I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to 250 I'm gonna pop the lid on and we'll 
we'll come back when I'm when I'm ready to stir it up. Okay. So you guys, this thing is actually like boiling really hard. But do you see that? You see they're still in chunks, even though this water is boiling as hard as it is, you see how it's still in chunks? So at this point, what we want to do is whisk it. This is cooking a little faster than I'm used to. Just get it down in there and whisk it. Break it up. And you're just going to whisk it really good until it looks like a milk. All right, it's going to just be a layer. Right. Now, the key to some smooth, creamy grits is to put them in there slowly. Y'all see that? You don't even need milk for this. If, if you want to use milk, hey, use milk. Y'all see how creamy that is? Okay? That's what we're looking for. Let me position this again. Oops. Okay, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and add our grits. Remember, it was one cup, one cup of grits, right? And the key to grits, lump, not having lumpy grits, is to put them in there slowly and stir as you put them in there. Okay? Oops. Oops. Oh, my goodness. I just got a hole in the back. Oh, my gosh. Did y'all see that? Ugh. And I usually keep it in the container. Okay. So, let me turn this back up just a little bit. Now, that was on 150. I put it on 200. Looks like the boiling has stopped. So we're going to turn it back up a little. Now, just put it in there slowly and stir as you are adding the grits. Okay? Just stir. You throw it in there all together, it's going to be lumpy. Bumpy. Right? Put it in there slowly. And just whisk it as you put it in there. This is telling your grits to be individual, okay? <laughs> you can go off and be individual. <laughs> All right. Y'all got to have patience with these grits. You're going to have some nasty grits. All right. So now that we got that in there like that, that's all we needed to do. We can go ahead and put the lid on. One scary thing about grits is they start to pop, right? Let's turn it this way. Okay. They start to pop. I just want you to kind of like at this point I usually turn the fire down and turn the heat down and I let them like do their thing right I let them just start to cook slowly we don't want them to cook fast because again lumps will come and it won't cook right so let it cook slowly we're looking for a creamy consistency we'll be back every now and then come in here and stir it up give it a stir Knock out the, the, the um, clumps and lumps, okay? Put that lid back on, let it do its thing. You'll start seeing it change texture and everything. Okay, we're back. We're checking the consistency. It might be a little low because now it's cooking very slow. So I'm going to turn it back up to about 300. Wow, the lumps came up instantly. I mean, the bubbling and popping came instantly. I just hit the button. And put that in now when it starts to pop like that that's when we want to go ahead and start adding this cheese so for about four cup for um one cup of grits i usually do up to about eight slices of cheese okay so we're going to get them ready because i want to as soon as i open that lid i want to be able to let me drop this drop the temperature i want to be able to start laying them over those bubbles so i don't get popped we're going to do about anywhere like six to eight slices of cheese. 
And we're doing the Velveeta ones, you guys. I usually do craft singles, but Velveeta's good too. Actually, I'm going to do a couple craft singles. Okay, so we're going to go with six right now. Now remember, open it up. Now since I turn the heat down to stop popping, ladies, in, ladies, bad boys in there. And then you're just going to start mixing. Surprise, this handle is not hot. Wow. The handle is not hot at all. And we're just going to mix. Mix them in there. Turn the heat up just a little bit. Now, at this point, also, if you want to add some butter, go ahead and add some butter. You want to add that real butter? Go ahead and add that real butter. Because <laughs> y'all, that's black folks. And some of us. I know some of y'all going to be like, no, I knew ever since I was little, I knew the difference between real butter and, and, and margarine sticks. Okay, but I didn't. My parents have always called um, margarine, which is mostly vegetable oil, butter. That ain't butter, y'all. That's not butter. Okay, the real butter is gonna cost you some pennies. Okay, does this look creamy to y'all? Does this look creamy? Do y'all see lumps? No, this is nice and smooth. This is so smooth, and I promise you, yo, your whole outlook on grits when you make it this way, it's gonna be like, oh my goodness, what have I doing been doing to my grits all these 15 years? <laughs> And when it starts looking like this, you guys, you're about ready to take this off the heat. So I'm just going to let this simmer just a little bit longer, maybe another five minutes, right? Maybe another five minutes, five minutes or so with the lid on. That's about ready to come off, y'all. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. Actually... You see how quick them bubbles came? This thing don't play. We're going to turn it back down to 200. All right, you guys. So these have sat for about five minutes and just kind of simmered, cooked, and did their thing. And this is what you're looking for. Because the longer they sit, and it's good to serve them while they're warm. Because the longer they sit, they're going to, of course, thicken up. But this is what you're looking for. And like I said, if you want to add your shrimp now, whatever you want to add to this. These things are going to be good. Again, the, the secret is to get that cream cheese in there right when the water is boiling, okay? Right when it's boiling. You want it to break down. You want it to whisk it, all right? Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. You guys are amazing. Um, later, I'm going to have some more um, recipes that I'd like to, to share with you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you again. Have a blessed day, but more importantly, be a blessing to others. Love you. so good so good so good mm. Mm.